In this episode, I'm going to talk about the 10 daily habits that you can do in order to change your life. This is something that you always have access to, you don't need a lot of money for. So if you want to change your life around in 2023, then this video is for you. If that's something that you'd like to learn more about, then stay around. How does it feel to be alive, to be free? Are we truly in the here and now? Or are we living a dream that we created? Close your eyes to see clearly. This is life on purpose. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of On Purpose by Lynn. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Lynn and I share with you everything you need to know about personal development and spirituality so that you can create your best life and so that you can rise to your fullest potential. If that's something that you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. So in this video, like I was saying, I am going to go over the 10 daily habits, the simple habits that you can do in order to rise to your fullest potential and to rise to your highest self. So let's dive into it right away. I'm not gonna make this very long, but because everything is going to speak for itself. Number one, change your energy. As we know, energy lays at the foundation of everything, meaning that everything is energy and energy is everything. So this means that you attract what you are. So what you are vibrating in this very moment is what you're going to attract more of. Do you want more wealth? Do you want better relationships? Do you want love? Do you want to feel happy and peaceful inside? Then your energy is going to determine how this is going to unfold for you. So practicing from today, you can change your energy. And the way that you can do that is simply through moving your body. Um, you can do this through meditation, releasing all thoughts from your mind. You can do this through energy healing. You can do this through having fun and doing something fun, things that charge you up. Dancing, for example, is one way how you can change your en energy in an instant. Number two, Take action towards your dreams. Jack Johnson once said, don't let dreams just be dreams. Meaning that the dreams that are planted in your heart are there for a reason. So what are you going to do about it? Are you, keep on, are you going to keep on dreaming about your dreams or are you going to take action towards it and make a plan, reverse engineer your goals in order to make the dreams the uh, digestible and tangible steps that you can take every single day and before you know it life is going to unfold for you in ways you never expected was possible for you and your dreams will be a reality today number three wake up with purpose now a lot of people say you know life is happening to me meaning that we are simply the victims of our circumstances. We are the victims of our lives. But I don't truly believe in that. What I truly believe is that we are the creators of our lives. And so we are the ones who determine what's going to happen next. With you having clarity of what it is that you want to accomplish, what it is that you want to be or have um, in 2023 or from today onwards, that's going to determine how you're going to wake up and how you're going to wake up and take action towards it. So this means that if you wake up with purpose, you can find purpose in anything. You can find purpose in cooking, you can find purpose in anything that you're doing right now. So if you can find the purpose of what it is that you want to create, and then you can wake up with that purpose and you can set intentions and you start taking action towards it, then your life is going to change forever. Number four, learn something new. How many of us feel sometimes stuck in life? Sometimes we feel life is just, you know, we're going through the motions, nothing new is happening. Uh, you don't really feel like you know what it is that you want, but you feel like something has to change. Well, in order to change your reality, it means that you have to do something that you didn't do before. Um, I believe Albert Einstein said this, um, expecting different results with doing the same thing over and over again is um, a sign of complete insanity. 
and I'm not trying to be harsh with this, I've been here as well, but what I'm trying to say is that if you want your reality to be different, it means something has to change, and it means maybe sometimes you have to learn something new. So start reading books, start listening to podcasts, start learning from people who have achieved what it is that you want to achieve, and start learning these new skills that will help you to get there. Number five, surround yourself with people who inspire you every single day and who challenge you to become the best person you're meant to become. If we are the dumbest one in the room, it means that we're in the right room. Why is this? Because when we're the dumbest one in the room, it means that we're going to learn and going to be pushed by people who do better than us, who empower us to be better. You know, if you're the smartest one in the room, you're not in the right room. Put yourself in environments that challenge you to learn, challenge you to grow, challenge you to be a better person today. Number six, get out of your comfort zone. A lot of people say the magic unfolds when we're in the unknown. And this means that sometimes we really need to push ourselves to get out of our comfort zone. Like I was saying before, getting yourself into an environment that challenges you to be better also pushes you to get out of your comfort zone. So get out of your comfort zone today. Do something that you never did before. Do something that you're fearful about. Do something that is uh, very unlike you. <laughs> this is when life is going to change in ways you never thought was possible for you. Number seven, reprogram your limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs. Now you see, we all have beliefs that are not serving us. And this happened when we were growing up. From our inner childhood, from our first year to our seventh year, that's what they say we laid the foundation of the belief system that we live today. If you've never taken the time to change it, and what does this mean? It means that sometimes we've had experiences that are not serving our highest good, that maybe um, stopped ourselves from doing certain things or for speaking up or for taking action towards certain things. And maybe that belief is blocking you today from achieving what it is that you want. Maybe you want success, but secretly you're afraid of failure. Or maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, for example, or you want to do something that uh, that requires you to speak in public but maybe you've had an experience when you were younger where you felt like you had to keep your words for yourself that's why it is so important that we identify what it is that is limiting us and these beliefs and how we can reprogram them into empowering beliefs i've made a ton of videos about this so if you want to learn this I'll link some videos um, onto here that will help you to do that. Number eight, go within and get to know yourself. Ask yourself, who am I? I truly believe that we can reinvent ourselves in every single moment, meaning that the person that we are right now in this moment has led us to the reality that we're living today. And like I was saying, the energy that we are emitting right now is what is going to determine what our reality is going to be like. Meaning that if we want to have a certain a different reality, it requires us to change something about ourselves that will match that certain reality. So who is it that you truly are? What are your values? What are you most, most passionate about? What will make you most happy? And how can you become that person today? And that's why you need to go inwards. You need to tune inwards because finding out who you truly are and what is most aligned to you can only happen when you meditate, when you go inwards and you stop your mind from thinking and you tune into that infinite place that you are that will allow you to give you the clarity that you need to move forward and to release all the things that you need to that need to be released in order to get to who you truly are know thyself number nine 
take responsibility for your reality. Like I was saying earlier, sometimes we just simply say life is happening to us and we forget that life is always happening for us, meaning that we are the creator of our own reality. The moment that we switch from the victim mode into the creator mode, that's when we claim our power. That's when we centralize our power to where we are right now and who we are today and what we can create. Because it means that if you created a situation that wasn't so positive, that wasn't so pleasant for you, it also means that you can uncreate that because you are the creator. So taking responsibility for your reality being able to become that empowered version of yourself is essential to change your life because in the end we decide what's going to happen next we decide what we want to focus on we decide what will be our boundaries what we will say yes to and what we will say no to we have that power and you always have the power so that's something that we have to realize again in order to change our lives for the better now finally number 10 and this is the most important one of all after you've done all of these simple things that you can start doing today we have to start trusting into the unknown because what does it mean when we start creating the reality that we want it also means there is a part of this creation that we have no control over. There are parts of the creation that we have control over, for example, what our intention is, what our focus is, what our actions are, what our energy is. This will all determine the most likely outcome of what's going to manifest for you. But then there's also this part of our manifestation that is the subconscious part, it's the super conscious part, it's where we co-create with the universe. We have to make sure that we are doing all that we can to make sure that we are aligning the possibilities as best as we can with the desired outcome. And then we have to trust and surrender into the unknown, surrender to the universe and say, hey, now it's your job to bring to me what I need to, in order to manifest those things, those opportunities, those people, those uh, situations. And that's when we need to surrender and back off basically and trust and allow these things to unfold. Let me know in the comments what it is that you're going to change today to Quantum Leap in 2023. I'm very curious to know. And thank you so much for liking this video and for sharing this video with anyone who needs to hear this right now. Maybe your family, your friends, your community member, anyone you feel could benefit from this video. I'm very thankful for you for doing that. And and if you're new here and haven't already subscribed to my channel, remember to do so as you will be the first to watch all of my videos every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so that you can create your best life. Remember, we have such an exciting future to look forward to, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. Thank you so much for being here and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye for now.